All right, friends, fellow magicians, let's enter another two-man. I'd really like to play against something that is tough for us for other reasons, like Jonder Pod. Um, actually, you know, I'm almost tempted to make a sideboard change. Let's let's go look at our sideboard really quick. If we can fit three Mirren Crusaders, we maybe we want to because he's really good against Pod. Actually, maybe we don't. Let's see. Um, I'm fine with Wrath. Aven Mind Sensor, Mirror Crusader. Hmm. No, I think I still want an Aven Mind Sensor. I think I want something to bring in in the Tron matchup. Currently, don't have much. Um. You know, Anger against against Pod, Anger and Mirror and Crusader don't necessarily work together, and we need Double Red for one and Double White. For the other, but I mean, we're bringing in one, two, three. We're bringing in like of those three. There's a chance. I mean, yes, there's a chance we might see both together, but um, I think like if we draw our seven and we see an anger, then that's our plan. And if we draw our seven and see a mirror and crusader, then that's our plan. If we saw, if we, if we draw both then depending upon what the rest of our hand looks like we're probably would probably want to be on the anger and then mirin crusader plan so i think that we made we may just you know we can still get like a sacred foundry which meets one requirement of both so we're probably if that's the case we just get a sacred foundry which would probably get us close to close to being able to cast both so i, mean, I don't want to change that yet Let's go back to the modern queue, re-enter it. Hopefully somebody joins soon, but I'll pause the recording so you don't have to wait. All right, so we have another opponent and we won the die roll, so we're gonna be on the play. This hand seems pretty sweet. Third land wouldn't be bad, but we have a remand, so we're gonna keep it. I mean, we'd keep it anyway. The deck runs 25 lands. We should draw into one. Um, we are going to... We're going to first get a Hollowed Fountain with Arid Mesa in case, let's see, actually, let me, um, yeah, we're going to get a Hollowed Fountain in the event that uh, we want to pass something. Um, and then with Scalding Tarn, if we, if we really wanted a Helix something, we could, in theory, get a basic mountain and be okay mana-wise. While we're waiting, I'm going to have a bite of my snack here. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Our opponent's back. Um, Arid Mesa and pass back. <clears throat> Burn, perhaps? Yep. Set barn. Um, I think we can get a hollowed fountain, scalding tarn, get a uh, regular mountain, and then just helix it and not have to take the damage. That's our plan. No, we don't want to take four. We're going to get a hollowed fountain. We're going to Scalding Tarn, get a mountain. And Helix the Sky. Geist isn't actually too bad um, in this match because they have no way to remove it. Um, We'll see what things look like next turn, but if he just suspends some things, then we'll probably resolve a Geist and hold Remand up for something. We may also just get Goblin Guided here. Lava Spike and suspend. Nope, just Lava Spike again. All right, we're at 15. Um, I think we can spend a turn to resolve a Geist.
All right, we're going to swing with Geist and see so he's got three cards. You can almost just like multiply how many cards they have by three. So, or maybe you can add four. You can do three times two because. Um, so we're, we're he's he's got this card and three more. So that's kind of like twelve. Um, let's see. Do we want to remand? Rift Bolt. <clears throat> I think we do. Um, Rift Bolt should go on the stack now. Um, let's see, what's the... Yeah. He may have drawn a creature. they will have haste, maybe it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we'll just remand it. It's not like he can then replay it. That's good. That's super great. If he if he taps, if he doesn't keep two minute up, then we're just gonna um, actually. <clears throat> oh, two of them. All right. Well. We're going to bolt one, and he looks the other one, and then we should be in good shape to win the game. Let's see if we get a land off the trigger. Nope, another Electrolyze. <clears throat> so that trigger goes. Of course, it's Electrolyze. We're going to bolt one of them. Yeah, we pretty much got this game. And the reason we're not going to do anything like a wait is we don't want him to skull crack in response to our helix so this lets us gain life now um, uh, it's really unlikely that our opponent is going to walk away with this one he has one card in hand worth 13 life and if he happens to play another creature we have a path So we're going to take damage from Eidolon, but even if he, like, let's say he, he has Bolt up right now. So if we pat this, take three, and he bolts us, that'll put us at uh, four, but it deals three or two damage. It's two damage. So that'll put us at five, but we're going to untap, swing with Geist, and electrolyze him and kill him. So path here. Take the two, that eats a path. <clears throat> and we're not gonna bother like doing this at his upkeep or anything, we're just gonna go and fire it off. All right, sideboard. Um, let's see here. Koranos is slow. Um, we want to bring in Purge because all of his permanents are red. Um, doo -doo -doo. We'll probably get rid of... Uh, yeah, we'll probably get rid of Spell Snare. Doesn't think it really hits much. Um, Ajani's good, gains some life. I think Geist is good in this matchup. Um, Worm Coil gains life, but if we survive that long, then we are dead. <laughs> I mean, if we survive that long, we're probably already going to win the game. Um, our best spells in this matchup are Snapcaster Mage and Lightning Helix. We just need to run them out of gas. So I guess I'm okay with bringing in a hard counter. Um, it's just kind of another one-for-one one 
trade. Uh, I don't mind Path because they do play some creature that has Unearth. Um, all right, yeah, we'll run this configuration. I'm sure he's going to play first. Uh, we can't keep this hand. We'll just, I mean, no, we want a mulligan. This is not super great either, but it does have an Ajani which gains some life, so... Maybe we'll get a land out of the way here and draw something more relevant. Actually, I wouldn't mind having him put a red source in our hand because that means next turn we could play Arid Mesa to get a Plains and uh, Path Goblin Guide, which happened. Sweet. Um, normally, I'd play Hollow or I'd, I'd play Celestial Colony first, but we can always play it. Um, Actually, we're just going to play our castle and have up our path. And now we can play all of our lands and still get to Ajani. The only bad thing about Ajani is he's kind of slow, so if he, if he has two red mana up, which he most likely will, then when we use his ability, he could skull crack us in response. Let's see what he plays. All of his creatures have haste, so he's not going to, like... Goblin Guide, except Eidolon. He's not going to Goblin Guide, and then, um... The fact that he's thinking so long about it makes me wonder. Because if he has a Haste creature, he's just going to play it. We're not going to take four. We're going to path that. Let's see. Is it, okay, Rift Bolt. All right, so he's definitely not going to play Idol on this. And he forgot to attack somehow. Same on him. Good for us. He may have just misclicked, though. I mean, I've misclicked on Magic Online. More times than I would like to remember. It's always very sad. Um, well, we have nothing to do with two mana, so we will go ahead and play out Colonnade and have this path up for a Goblin Guide. Now he's going to feel really bad about not getting that extra damage in with Goblin Guide when he could have. Uh, we're not going to do, well, we can't do anything about Rift Bolt. It's going to smack us. He's down to three cards, and we're still at 18 life. That's pretty good. Not feeling, we're at 15 life. Not feeling awful. Oh, four cards ready. He hadn't drawn yet. Drawn his card. Uh, so let's see. Is this Eidolon? Um, hmm. Well, we actually... We don't have any cheap spells to play right now. And nor normally I would want to wait for the Goblin Guide trigger. But I'd rather just go ahead and path the Goblin Guide in response to Eidolon on the stack so I don't take the damage. And right now we plan to kill Eidolon with a Johnny. We're just going to have to sadly wait two more turns to do that. Um, Mm, vexing Devil, you're a bad man. Um, okay, well, let's think about this. We go to 11. Even if we draw a removal spell... Let's see. If We, we don't have a removal spell for Vexing Devil, so we're going to take 4 if we don't kill it. Um, rather, if we kill it, we're going to take four. If we draw into a removal spell, then we only take we, we only take two from Eidolon. But if we don't draw into a removal spell, then we're going to take four from Vexing Devil 
anyway and potentially more so I think we're gonna we're gonna take the four unfortunately I'm not obviously excited about that but I think that's the right choice man we are just drawing all of all of the um, all of the lands so next turn it's going to be island I don't think there's any way that he does not have a skull crack at this point Everything he has that he can play at instant speed is We're at nine. He has three burn spells. That's I mean the reman's gonna damage us if we play it. So I think maybe we play a Johnny and let's see if we play a Johnny and hold down his Eidolon. That's super slow, but if we do that. Then we stop taking two from Eidolon. If let's see, if we just fire, if we fire off a Johnny's minus two and kill Eidolon, and he has a skull crack, we get rid of the creature. Yeah, that's better because if we if we tap it, then technically we've kind of gotten rid of the creature because it's not attacking us. But we make sure we make no attempt to gain life. If we just try to shoot it and he has a skull crack, which he probably does, then we don't gain life which we wouldn't gain life from the plus one anyway, but now we at least have an attempt at gaining life. So, we'll go for the attempt at gaining life. But we're probably just going to get skull cracked. Or not. That was pretty sweet. We gained life. He probably wasn't happy to see that. Uh, yeah, he's going to send this at our face. We still need a, a way to... Oh, no, no. He did redirect to a Johnny. I almost wouldn't have expected that. Oh, this is going to be Flames of the... Yeah. All right. So that puts us at eight. But he's down to one card. Or two cards. Which he did nothing. Um, so counterflux, counterflux is good. Um, let's see. In order to, we need an island in order to remand and counterflux. So we can get, we can get one. What's called in turn. I think we can take one to get a. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. What are we gonna do? We're gonna remand that. I think we're just gonna actually counterflux it, and. Potentially hold up remand for something else. Um, we're going to get a steam vents. Um, we have a remand up, but do we just want to colonnade him here? I think so. Most of his stuff is so cheap anyway. I mean, Reman against Burn is sometimes just a cantrip. They can just recast their spells. Our life total is a little low, but he's also pretty low on cards, so... And next turn we can colonnade and have Reman up. Um, um, we can still get a mountain with that. Uh, snap is really good, but we do not have a snap is great if we have like a lightning helix in the yard, which we don't right now. Actually, no, we we might have just wanted to play out the hollow fountain tapped because we're kind of at low life. 
and I mean if we crack this then 6 gets us 3 okay so here's what I don't fully understand it says the damage can't be prevented but if we just remand that the spell never gets actually resolved right Yeah, okay. Are we gonna get... Oh, he's just gonna do it again. Helix! Wow! Wow. That's awesome. Uh, we are wasting no time. Helixing. Snapcastering. Don't tap the other white source, Nathan. <laughs> That'd be so sad. And Helixine. Man, what a good draw. We are so happy with that. And then we're going to bolt him at the end of his turn. Magic is so fun when everything comes together. Bolt. Whatever. Bolt. Cool. Blue eye red geist, baby. Gotta love it. Um, I actually think that our matchup against um, Burn isn't bad because we have bolts and paths for their um, permanence and then potentially even kind of like you saw in that first game we're able to not only eliminate one of their or remove one of their permanents with lightning helix but gain life which is what we really need to do so um, that's also kind of another scenario where um, we were at two so had we not ajanied and gained some life there um, we would be dead so um, those little you know small margins they matter in magic and a Johnny earned us some so <clears throat> anyway all right guys I don't know if I have time for a third um, my wife just called so I'm gonna call her back and see what's going on there and if I have time for a third I'll play one but as always thank you so much for watching I appreciate it I saw that I had a hundred and something subscribers you guys are amazing i didn't i still <laughs> i can't believe like a hundred people would actually want to subscribe and watch my youtube videos it's pretty pretty darn sweet so i guess that means that you guys are enjoying it and um i've gotten some feedback that you guys want me to continue so i'm going to continue making the modern guides and continue making videos for the decks i play i have a couple of other ideas for videos too that i think are kind of unique so you know, we'll see what's coming up. And, um, yeah, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.